Welcome to Beardy, Bruce Lee Central. Hey everybody, it's Birdie here. What's going on guys? Okay, so the footage you're looking at right now is Bruce Lee handing Joe Louis a trophy. It's the 1968 John Rudy tournament and Joe Louis had just won the open class, the open karate class. And Joe Louis at this time was considered to be the baddest karate guy in the United States. And unlike Chuck Norris, who was not willing to learn Jeet Kune Do under Bruce Lee, Joe Lewis was willing to learn Jeet Kune Do under Bruce Lee. But on one contingency, they had to have a real fight before he would agree to become one of Joe, one of Bruce Lee's students. So basically he wanted a karate versus Jeet Kune Do fight. A real fight, not a sparring fight. He basically wanted to test Bruce Lee to see if he really is this guy that everyone is talking about. Is he the real deal? And that's what he's talking about in this interview. So here, take a look. He hit extremely hard. He could hit as hard as a heavyweight. He had real fast uh, twitch muscle fibers, something he's born with. He trained hard. He worked on a lot of his stabilizers and muscles. And especially his speed, I always thought he was like the fastest guy who ever stood in front of me. He had incredible, what I call kind of a Zen level of consciousness in psychology. We call it the implicit level of consciousness. You didn't know when he was going to squeeze that trigger. And he always knew when you weren't ready. He had blinding speed, especially with his hands. And I know that's because he stood in front of me and he popped me a few times. So I've always told people, I know how hard Bruce Lee could hit. I know how fast he was because he nailed me. And uh, I've always told people, I know what real Jeet Kune Do was <laughs> because I got popped with it a few times. 